Okay, hey you guys, we are back with another video and you guys know what time it is. When you see my slap cap on, what does that mean? I've already shampooed and deep conditioned. <laughs> so today we're going to be using a styler and that styler is by Miss Jessie's. So this is the Coily Custard with agave and coconut oil and it says it's the best darn Coily Custard. If you're familiar with Miss Jessie's, you know that's kind of like their slogan. Everything is like the best darn whatever, whatever. We're transforming frizzy froze to define curly cues, wash and go styling, fighting curl shrinkage, rod sets, and daily curl refreshers. I wouldn't refresh. Normally when I think of refreshers, I think of just like sprays. So we're not doing that a non-greasy wash and go styler that really works for coily, curly, and kinky hair. Coily Custard coats each frizzy strand with a dose of moisturizing hold factor. Hold is what I'm looking for. And shine that enhances and defines your curl pattern, reduces frizz, <laughs> and fights curl shrinkage. I don't really care about shrinkage. Um, it says, also with Coily Custard, you can now achieve that just wash look when your curls are shiny, elongated, and super defined. Curly Custard is made especially for you and your glorious crown of curls. No petroleum, no parabens, no sulfates, no artificial colors, no mineral oil, no paraffin, no animal testing, and no animal ingredients. So... This product right here was $14 at Target, but you know you use like your little red card, debit card, you get 5% off, so whatever that is. Um, I picked this up just yesterday because I was thinking to myself, I have not seen people really use Miss Jessie's in a long time, okay? When I say a long time, I mean a long time. Like I remember when I first went natural in 2009, I mean, Miss Jessie's was that brand that nobody wanted to buy because they was super, super high, but they still wanted to try it. But then it was like, do I want to try it? Because it's really high. Now, these products are the standard. Like back then, $14 for a product was, it wasn't nobody trying to do that. Nobody was trying to do that. Now, I mean, you have companies like The Main Choice all of their products, I think their lowest price product is probably $14 if, um, and that's eight ounces. So now it's kind of like the standard to spend that amount of money on really good hair products. I really used to like the curly meringue to do uh, twist outs and uh, the jelly soft curls. I really like that. The two that I've never tried that I always wanted to try was the coily custard and then there's like a honey custard or something like that that I wanted to try. So I was like, let me just go ahead and pick this up since it specifically said wash and go styling on it. So real quick, this is what the product looks like. It is kind of watery. I thought it would have been a little thicker than this. It's kind of thick, but it ain't like thick, thick. Like I really like it. So just for transparency, I shampooed my hair with the main choice, proceed with caution shampoo. Um, and then I deep conditioned with Pattern Beauty, the heavy uh, conditioner, which is basically like a deep conditioner. Then for a leave-in, I'm gonna use the Tropical Moringa from the main choice. So I'll be back. I'm gonna wash the deep conditioner out and onto the styling.
Okay, you guys. So this is what my hair is looking like after I distributed the product throughout. What I can say is you do end up using a lot of it because it is like it's not really watery like the um Monos hair gel, but it still is kind of like watery, but then it's like a little thick thick just a little bit so you do still end up using a lot of the product um and i have short hair so for someone that has like really long hair or even like medium length hair you will probably go through this like really quickly but i do feel like it is defining my curls pretty nicely I guess the thing that i'm really nervous about is the hold because it does feel really lightweight like it doesn't feel like a heavy gel at all it's kind of borderline medium to light so that's what i'm a little nervous about but it smells good i don't have a problem with the fragrance um i feel like it's defining my curls really well so we will <sighs> we'll see what it's looking like after. Okay, you guys, so we are back. My hair is completely dry. So as I always do, I'm gonna put some oil. I'm gonna put some oil in my hands. Kind of rub it together. And just, I just like to put it like on. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and like use my pick a little bit just to kind of like lift everything up just slightly, not, not too, too much, but you know, just a little bit. Actually like it like beginning I was a little nervous that it wasn't gonna give me the hold but after sitting underneath the dryer like it's it's gonna give me the hold like my hair is it's not crunchy crunchy but it's gonna give me the hold I think this is gonna last me a couple of days especially once it like starts to loosen up a little bit because it is kind of like hard but not like crunchy crunchy hard but it is like a little you know on the on the tough side and i definitely i definitely think like once it loosens up some more oh, i really like this you guys i really really like this like my hair is soft even though even though it's a little on the hard side like my hair is still soft if that even makes sense it probably don't but you know what i'm trying to say i feel like the definition is there i feel like the shine is there I really have no complaint. No, the only complaint that I would probably have with this product is the fact that I do feel like I had to use a lot of it um, because of the consistency. Like it's like I said, it's a little on the watery side, but it has like a little thickness to it. So I did end up having to use a lot of it. One use, I am like about to hear, which isn't really bad. But I mean, if you're using this weekly on your hair i mean you have about two or three uses and then you have to spend another 14 dollars. so i mean you have to i guess keep that in mind I don't... I don't have a problem with it you guys the sides i kind of like twisted with my finger sitting underneath the dryer because girl i'd be bored so that's why the size looks like really, really like coils because I did actually twist it with my finger. Um, but, and you can see this one. You can see this one is like sticking out. But anyway, um, that's so funny. It looks, you know what it looks like? Like the red eyes, but the, anyway. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you still use Miss Jessie's products. I feel like I might do Maybe I might turn this into like a little series of like products, like brands that are blast from the past that we used to use. Like who used to use Elastic QP? 
I know I did. I know I did. So anyway, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've used this product. Do you love it? Do you hate it? And yeah, you guys, that's it. Bye.